What's up, everybody? Glad you're here. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Uh, Going to do something a little different. Uh, the Grammys uh, were recently handed out. Uh, so I was going through and looking through the list of nominations and winners. And uh, <clears throat> I'd forgotten all about the fact that Alison Krauss and Robert Plant had actually uh, dropped a new album and had an album, had a song out and were actually um, nominated for like three Grammys this year. Uh, they were nominated for uh, this song, High and Lonesome, off the album uh, Raise the Roof. So it was nominated for Amer uh, Best Americana Roots Song. Uh, it was also nominated for the Raise the Roof was nominated for Best uh, Americana Album. And then they also had a nomination for Best Country Duo or Group Performance for Going Where the Lonely Go. Uh, unfortunately, they did not win any of them. Uh, they lost uh, in all their respective categories. But it piqued my interest because I was like, oh, I haven't even heard that yet. I, I remember that they'd put it out and I just never I had not gotten around to listening to it. So this is my first time listening to it and checking it out. And I thought, you know, may as well record this and figure out what's going on with it. So this is Allison Krauss and, and Robert Plant, uh, High and Lonesome. Take me down, down to the river, lift me high upon the flood. digging this that's a great jam holy cow his voice like this dude is 74 years old he has been rocking since the 60s and his voice sounds almost the same as it as it did when he was when he was fronting led zeppelin like, that dude's 74 years old, and he does not have age in his voice at all. That is a strong voice. And so smooth. Still sounds so good. So bluesy, so folksy, so emotional. Like, I love listening to Robert Plant sing. He just, he was on a whole nother level when it came to, to singing lyrics that anybody could have sung, but only he could put the emphasis into it that made you remember that song. Um, Allison Krauss, she's been around for a while too. I think she's about 51 now. She's been putting out albums since the late eighties and, um, on here, it looks like she's backing him up a little bit, but she has such a clear voice too. Can't really hear it too much. So I hope she fronts here, but, um, really sounds good. I like this. I love that beat. That beat is just so cool. What is it? So this is, um, Take me down, down to the river, lift me high up on the flood, and there will be no turning back, and I must find my love. I must find my love. All right, well, now meet me in the bottom with the serpents and the vine, and I must shout out loud, will she be mine? Will she? So he's out looking for love. He's out trying to find the woman he loves or trying to find somebody to love him. And, uh, man, he sounds good. Well, now meet me in the bottom with the serpents and the vine And if I'm a shy loud Will she still be mine? Will she still be mine? Will she still be mine? Do they harmonize great? I shall not rest upon the highway I will not tie nor despair Wow. 
okay. <laughs> I shall not rest upon the highway. I will not tire nor despair. I shall conspire. I will be there. I'll make a deal. I'll dance in hell. I'll sing out loud and louder yell. I will open every door, every door. Yeah. So he's, yeah, just, he's on this mission to find someone to love, find someone to love him. Unconversated out in the wild words with the lion and the dove. And if I ever should lose my mind there, I must find my love. That's a great line. Unconversated out in the wild words with the lion and the dove. And if I should lose my mind there, I must find my love. So even if he goes crazy doing it, even though he's even without words and he's out in the, in the wild, he doesn't have words and he, they're all messed up in his head. He's out with the lion and the dove. So he's got war and he's got peace. He's got calm. He's got frantic. He's got the predator and the prey. Even if I should lose my mind there, I must find my love. That's a great line. I love that. I think he wrote this with um, T-Bone Burnett, who also produced it and backed it up and, and played guitar on this. And uh, man, what a great man. This song should have won. I'm not, I need to check out the song that won, because if it's better than this, it's going to be pretty freaking good. But uh, I love this song. So leave me high, high on the mountain with the naked and the free. And if I shouldn't bear my soul Would you still care for me? Would you still care for me? Would you still care for me? So Alison Krauss, great violin player as well. I did not know that. Um, man, what a great sounding song. That just that's an awesome song, man. That's just like a moody song. Just his his voice just takes me back, man. Like to my early days of rock and roll, listening to learning Led Zeppelin and hearing his voice for the first time, and it sounds like it sounds like the first time I ever heard man anything he ever did back then. Just. It's like he, it's like he's never aged a day. It's crazy. Anyway, what'd you think? Did you look? I I love it, man. I'm just enthralled by that song, that that, that music. I need to listen to the rest of that album, see if it's good. And I wish I could have gotten more Alison Krauss, but boy, they harmonize really well too. So she sounded great and uh, and just awesome on that violin. Just man. They're killing. I never thought Robert Plant, you know, it's kind of weird thinking about Robert Plant, like being an Americana, uh, uh, ro uh, rock, not even a rock, a country singer, almost like a country singer, Amer Americana bluesy. But at the same time, if you go back and listen to Led Zeppelin, man, like so much of their stuff was so blues influenced. It's really not that far a leap. And I, this is his second album that he's done with her. He did, um, 
Raising Sand was their album back in 2007. I think that one was, I think they won the Grammy for that one. Um, that's been a minute. So it's been a while since they got together, but man, I hope that dude never dies. Cause he's, he's got a lot more music left in him, I think. So tell me what you thought, man. I'd love to hear your comments on it. Uh, do me a favor and pound that like button. In the meantime, check out my other stuff up here. We got a bunch of new music we've I've put up lately. Um, some stuff that you probably have never heard before. I found some pretty obscure stuff. And uh, just if you like, subscribe it so you can find more of it and share it with your friends and with complete strangers. And get the word out. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys next time. In the meantime, be safe. Be careful. I love you. Bye.